Well, the bitter cold this weekend could be dangerous for people experiencing homelessness. CBS News' Nick Calloway followed a group that's trying to get people indoors. As the temperature goes down, the most vulnerable are covering up. Yep, today is very cold. Sooner or later, they're going to find somebody out here frozen to death. Outside Newark Penn Station on this cold night, people in need come to get a hot meal. Rice and beans, tomatoes. But soup is just the beginning. B.J. Neal is an outreach leader with City Relief. So that we have an opportunity to take our friends that are out here on the streets to give them food, to give them something to drink, uh, to give them the, the resources that we bring, whether it's socks, masks. Uh, tonight we even have gloves and hats and things of that nature for people to keep warm. Because of the extreme cold, volunteers are also giving out sleeping bags and blankets. Last night I ain't had nothing, so I was just basically walking around <laughs> trying to stay warm. But tonight this would make a difference. The sleeping bags and food are nice, but the goal here is to get people experiencing homelessness off the streets for good. So outreach teams offer counseling and help getting into housing or a shelter, or on frigid nights like this, even a hotel. You know, no amount of bundling up is going to protect you from a cold like that. You need to be indoors. Spencer Holmesborg has been volunteering with City Relief for about a decade, helping those in need get the help they need. I've seen a man get a new wheelchair, seen people, you give a man a soup and their face lights up, you listen to their story and you see the humanity in them. It really fills you with such grace. City Relief is handing out food here in Newark every Friday night. Tonight they were also able to get two people out of the cold and into a hotel for the weekend. In Newark, Nick Calloway. CBS 2 News.